This is the plaintiff, Norma Acosta. She says the defendant hired a cleaning company to clean her house, and that sneaky woman stopped payment on her check. Not only that, she accused her of stealing. She's been in business 22 years, has never stolen a thing, and has never been accused. This woman's crazy, and she's trying to get a free cleaning job at her expense, and that just ain't gonna fly. She's suing for $844.82, the amount she's rightfully owed. This is the defendant, Kelly O'Brien. She says the plaintiff's employee broke her upstairs faucet. Water was shooting out from everywhere. She suffered damages, and she had to hire an entire cleaning crew to clean up her employee's mess. If anyone here in this courtroom is owed money today, it is most definitely not the plaintiff. She's accused of making a check bounce. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $1,839, the amount of a new faucet and cleaning crew. All parties, please raise your right hand. Be seated. Come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. Norma Acosta and Kevin Aguayo doing business as Clean Life Home Care. You have power of attorney for Kevin? Yes, I do. Okay. You are suing Kelly O'Brien for $844.82 in uh, cleaning fees plus other money that you're out because she stopped payment on a check to you folks. Yes. You have a counterclaim for $1,839 because according to you, they damaged the place and stole things. Correct? That's correct, Your Honor. Okay, let me hear from you first. Tell me what happened. Um, initially, um, the defendant um, called in on the week of March 21st and she asked about our company. And I'm always very clear about the way that I explain things because every house is different and we customize cleaning to the uh, client's needs. So I told her our prices. She said that she was referred through somebody. So I, when people is referred, I kind of give them that special touch because I do a lot of networking. I'm very big in the county. My, okay. my clean life is Clean it's Life well is a is a deep cleaning company. It's we do move outs, move in, move outs. We do everything. We just don't do these kind of jobs. That when I talked to her on the phone and I gave her my prices, I said, you know what? The, we charge by the hour, and the long that's going to take us, it depends on how bad or good is your house. Right. So then she she said, well, my house is not that bad. Maybe the floors, but my house is not that bad. Okay, whose house was this? Was it your house? Yes, it is, Your Honor. Okay, and how did you, um, had you been living there? Your Honor, this is, I'm a victim of the Porter Ranch gas leak tragedy in Porter Ranch, California. I don't know if you've heard about it back here or not. Uh, gas leaked out of a well and it leaked for five months before they were able to get it out. Uh, I have health issues. I've lost my voice, as you can hear. It's very bad. They came out and sealed the houses to keep the gas from coming in. I asked, Had you been living in that house before that? Were you living in that house? Yes. Yes. I have uh, pictures How of the house. How long had you lived in that house? No, no, not yet. I need you to answer what oh, I'm asking. 27 How years. Oh, you'd lived in that house for 27 years. All right. And then because of this gas leak you're talking about, People in the area were all forced to evacuate? Is that what you're saying? They weren't forced to, but a lot of them did. There were 6,000 residents that were affected about it. They relocated a lot of them. I'm sorry, but this voice is- I can hear you just fine. So what no. happened? You, were, you had to go to a hotel? Uh, various places. I was at a hotel, I was at a condo. For how long? Uh, it's been about four months now. Okay, but when was the last time you were living in that place? Four months? Yes. Oh, okay. But I, I'm just trying to understand what the ga gas leak of gas fumes, gas liquid, what gas? What, what are you referring to? It's natural gas that you burn in your houses, and it was the plants the re that blew up, and they blew a pipe, and it was leaking, I think they said 3,200 3, tons a day or something, okay. and it affected the whole community. Okay with the gas fumes that were flowing into the air and coming down into our houses. What, I guess what I'm not getting is if it's unhealthy for someone to be in there, why are you hiring people to go clean in there? Because they, um, all of the attorneys and the gas company said you had to have it cleaned out 
before you could move back in. Yeah, but they're not hazmat people. They're they're house I asked, cleaners. Well, that's what I was saying. I asked her if she knew what the city was requiring as the rules to clean these houses. And if she had the equipment to do it, and she uh, what said did you say, wait? But what did you tell her the city was requiring? Did she say anything about the city and no, requirements? If she was to uh, in, tell me that, I would have said, "I'm sorry, we can do that job." That, you were hired just to clean the place. Yeah, I'm not going to put my people in danger. Okay, so your people get there. What day was the day that your people went? It was Saturday, uh, March 26. Okay, so when they go there on March 26, the contract was to pay you how much? $95 an hour? $95 an hour. For uh, how many workers? We didn't talk for two people, including all the cleaning supplies, vacuum cleaners, microfiber rags, everything needed for the cleaning. Right. Considering that it's a, a job that we do. The job that she required... They charge three to four hundred dollars an hour. Well, I and don't even know what the job that she requires uh, is. What is the, the hoarders and, and hoarders. hazard and hazard? Okay, all right. Here's the, my pictures. Okay. They so need to she wear those special suits. So she suits. calls you. You guys come, and um, you are not one of the people who comes. No. It's Kev. It's Kevin. Kevin and Marcella. And Marcella. Okay. Oh. The last two pictures in the back are. Okay, from just, the a second, just a second, just a second, just a second, just a second. Who took the pictures? My son. Who is your son, Kevin? Kevin. Okay. What is this a picture of? A uh, bathroom. What's going on in there? Everything. <laughs> uh, how would a gas leak have anything to do with the colossal mess that that is? Like, how would gas cause, you know, stuff to be all like this? The gas company and the attorney said you had to have it cleaned up. You're not listening to me. What I'm looking at here doesn't appear to have been caused by the potential entrance into your home of gas. It looks to be just a repulsive mess that, you know, from whoever was living there as opposed to what you're saying. What is that? What's that in the tub? That is just... <coughs> I'm having that clean, but not for No, how does gas. it get in there? Of course that's not gas. How does that, how does a tub become this filled with whatever nasty thing is causing organisms to grow in it? What is that? What is that? How, what is the liquid in the tub? That was just some water that came in there and got rusty. How, but how, what kind of, I mean, because the place is filthy, filthy. I, I, I thought. That's not what they were there to clean, Your well, what, Honor. What's that? Yes. What's that though? That's a bathroom. Mm -hmm. That's a bathroom. And ev everything is falling apart in that bathroom. This is part of your counterclaim that you say they broke the, the faucet in that bathroom? Well, I have pictures. The faucet was new. It was not an old faucet. The faucet know. was new in no. this bathroom. That <laughs> yes, faucet and was I have new. pictures of that, Your Honor. What's this a picture of? I don't even know what this that's is. That's a hall. That's, that, that's a floor. But how did it, but I, I, what, how does this stuff get on the floor? Like, what is that? You couldn't possibly have lived like that. That came from the uh, from the refrigerator. It broke the um, it broke from the freezer, the water for the freezer, and it floated some stuff I had in the room there. That happened while you after that's you had not what she was to clean up. I, that's, you're not listening to me. See, this is you, you want me to ignore everything that looks bad for your case, but I'm not gonna. So I want to know what I'm looking at when I'm looking at that floor. Is that the space where the refrigerator used to be on top of? Or no, what is that then? Who lived? That's what the water flooded from the refrigerator. When and it was a few months ago, and we put it into the corner. When were you living there at the time? Up, but that wasn't for. Were her you to living do. there at the time? No, I have actually. When that broke, I was at my daughter's for Christmas. So you, were you living there? Had you moved out or not yet? You hadn't not moved yet. Out. So how do you come home to see that and not clean it? Like I how, how, how do you to live? Clean that, Your Honor. What's this? That's a toilet. What's the floor I'm looking at? Is it a carpet? Yes. It was under a carpet. I'm looking at a carpet in this picture. This is a carpet, right? Okay. That's what's the that? Kitchen. That's the kitchen. Um, but what's the, the stuff the stove? on the kitchen? What's the stuff on the cups and all over the counters and all that? What's that? That was. I was not using that. And uh, the stove had broken, so we had things there, on there, and... Uh, That's the after, Your Honor. 
That's the same stove? That's the same stove. That's what we did. That is that. Mm -hmm. And she doesn't want to pay you. And then the other one. Why would you not want to pay them? What did they do wrong? Tell me why you, because you wrote them a check that day. How much was the check for? $665? She didn't, want, she didn't want to pay the check until we gave her an invoice. She was finding excuses not to pay us. My, my employees worked so hard in that house and they weren't even supposed to be there. That was hazardous. They were not supposed to no, be there. No, they should have left. They should have walked in and I left I told them. my son, Kevin, and, he, and then he said, Mom, but I, I got up so early. I drove an hour. Might as well make, uh, make some money and help her. He kept making, making up things. I kept asking them to do the windows, the walls. What I was concerned with immediately was what the gas company said had to be removed as residue before I moved back in. Okay, and tell me why you, you wrote them a check for $665 and then canceled it, stopped well, payment on it after they left. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So is it shady for her to write a check and then stop payment when she saw the job before she wrote the check? Yes, absolutely. If you saw the job and you wrote the check, then you were satisfied. Isn't it possible, though, you kind of look around closer and then you say, ah, I didn't like this after all? I think at that point you should still take it up with a cleaning company directly. And not stop payment in the check? Correct. What do you say? I believe you should continue with the payment. However, you should, um, after the fact, discuss it with the cleaning company. But not stop payment in the check? But not stop payment. Okay, fair enough. Going inside the courtroom. They were supposed to clean up the windows and the walls and the floors steam clean, the upholstery, and the mattresses for the chemicals that were in the house. I could move back in and finish the other cleaning, but I had to get the chemicals out health-wise before I could move back in and finish the cleaning. And I came back and said, please start on the walls and on the windows. I came back and she was washing dishes. And I said, I can do dishes. I have a bad knee. I cannot bend down. I need you to do cabinets and things. Get the residue out of here from the gas leak, and I will do dishes. I can stand here and do dishes. That's not a problem. And here's the walls and the windows that were not cleaned. They were trying to do things. So why'd you pay them 665? Because you wrote a check. Excuse me? Why did you stop payment on the check? Because the things you're telling me are not new information. They are the information you had with your eyeballs when you were standing there. First and what all, is this? You're showing me dirty windows? Is that it? Yes. Okay. And walls. That's what they were hired to do. So these dirty walls, you've decided that were there on the day that you wrote the check, that somehow that means you get to stop payment on the check. Is no, that right? No, had nothing to do with it, Your Honor. No, well, why did you write the check then? because he kept sneezing in my face. He said he was sick, he said he had to go. And I just said, fine, I paid him. By the way, everything I'm looking at has nothing to do with gas. This is just walls that are marked up and nicked up. Gas doesn't put those marks on the wall. No, Your okay. Honor. So no, no, but it it's does, not, but it's not. Then not one thing you're showing me in these pictures have anything to do with gas, okay? That's one. Two, how many hours were they there? Seven hours. Seven was, hours. You would think if this window was a priority, you would direct them to the window to go ahead and clean. And you would think that if they didn't do what you asked and didn't spray a little Windex and clean a window, that you wouldn't have paid them the $665. So it's, you know what it sounds like to me? It sounds like to me that you live in utter filth. It sounds like to me really that you weren't living there. That's really what it sounds like to me. But if we want to go by your testimony, that you're living in a complete squalor of a place and that you hire these people to come in and clean for seven hours, that you pay them their fee and that then you pull one over on them the next day like a thief. That's what it sounds like to me. They these people worked there for how many that? hours? Seven. And that was the And five, that's two people working like, for seven hours. Like a five day job. Your Honor, Pay the lady. Pay the lady. Your Honor, and I, oh, here's a surprise. On your counterclaim that you had to hire a plumber, that you missed two days of work, that you had to hire more people to clean. I'm surprised you don't have to hire a platoon to clean in there. And I have. Uh, no, no, uh, we're done. We're done. I can't look at the pictures for another second. I, You're suing for $30, $35 for a late fee of payment. You mean the stop payment? 
No, charge? Uh, after that, I told her, when I talked to her on the phone, I said, you need to really pay me, or otherwise I'm going to send you an invoice. If you don't pay me within 30 days, I'm going to charge you a late fee. And if you still don't pay me, I'm going to send you to court. Okay, the travel to file the claim you're not entitled to. That's okay. not a compensable expense, because if you choose to do business in another place, that's part of what you accept when you accept business okay. in another place. So that you cannot get. However, was there a charge from your bank when she stopped payment? It was $12. Okay, you're I, getting the six sixty five plus the $12 plus plus the $35 late fee verdict for the plaintiff, $712, zero on the counterclaim. Thank you, Your Honor. So no question about it. The plaintiff gets her money back. Ms. O'Brien, if you'll step over here for a minute, let me just ask you how you feel about what the judge just decided. I mean, those are pretty terrible pictures. Those were not what I hired them for. That wasn't to clean so I could move back in the house. Had nothing to do with it. She would not listen to that. That's what's on the walls, the residue, the danger. We have a lawsuit Well, going. you explain that to, uh, to her about that. Look, it looked pretty terrible in there and pretty embarrassing well, for you. Well, that I was think. something yeah. else. You must sign some documents. Thank you very much. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. He's that way. Now, here comes the plaintiff, Ms. Acosta. She's on her way out of the courtroom. That was a total mess. I'm surprised yes, your sir. folks just didn't walk away from it. You know, it. As we, we weren't supposed to be there, period. That's a, that was for people who had uh, special suits to walk in the house. She was very confused as to, as to do this, do this. I think she wanted to make the most of the seven hours. Yeah. That's why when she saw that the, the job wasn't going as fast. Were you aware it was in Northridge where all those problems we were? Know, we at, know, no, I didn't know. You didn't and know that at all? she didn't disclaim that okay. at all, period. She didn't you say didn't anything. didn't know about the Porter Ranch no, situation. Otherwise, I would have said, nope, I'm not doing that job. All right. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank okay. You so much. That's another interesting case, Harvey. What do you think? Okay, Doug, uh, you know, if you write a check with the intention of stopping payment, uh, or if you don't have sufficient funds and you know it when you write it, um, in many states, a judge can award two to three times the actual face value of the check kind of as a penalty. 